With absolute FTEs defined, we will now tie it all together by explaining how to calculate adjusted FTEs and how relief workers fit into the picture. Okay, so how are adjusted FTEs calculated? Take your absolute FTEs and multiply them by a predetermined multiplier value. Organizations may determine or calculate their own multiplier values based upon their specific needs or worker requirements, but the standard multiplier is 1.55. This is based upon the fact that there are 365 days within a year and a typical employee will work 236 of them. But this value is also based upon a seven day work week. Since our restaurant is only open six days per week, we could determine our own multiplier by removing the 52 days that we are closed from the yearly value of 365 to get 313 days since no one will be working those days. And then we could divide by 236 to get a multiplier value of 1.33. But this is not really effective as there are more things to consider when trying to determine this value. But we wanted to show you why or how that number could be changed in very simple terms. So back to deciding how many adjusted FTEs do we need. Let's use the 1.55 multiplier value. We have 12 absolute FTEs multiplied by 1.55 to get 18.6 adjusted FTEs needed. This count will cover people taking vacations, sick days, and other time that an employee might need off. So how can you have 0.6 of an employee since our adjusted FTEs in our example was calculated to be 18.6? Remember, FTEs are units of time, not individual employees. So the 0.6 refers to 40 hours times 0.6, which equals roughly 25 hours per week. To recap, absolute FTEs equal the bare minimum needed to run your organization. Adjusted FTEs take into consideration the adjustments you need to make in order to handle various scenarios such as someone calling in sick, taking a vacation, or other time that an employee will not be at work. Hopefully these two concepts are a bit better understood at this point. So then, what are relief workers? Here is where much of the confusion takes place. Relief workers or employees are not just workers that make up the difference between the absolute and adjusted FTE values. Why? You may hire additional permanent full-time employees to cover some of the adjusted FTEs, depending upon the number that you need and if the FTEs involved are interchangeable. This is a managerial decision that will vary due to the type of organization and its goals. Which brings up a key point. When solving for adjusted FTEs, you are not necessarily solving for the number of relief workers and vice versa. So if relief workers are not just a difference in the workforce between the absolute and adjusted FTE values, what are they? They can be temp hires, agency workers, seasonal, short hour, part-time, or even as needed employees. They are basically not permanent hires, they are not considered career employees by the organization. Relief employees usually do not work a set schedule, nor do they normally receive benefits from the organization. This typically results in a higher wage being paid as compared to their employed counterparts. So the number of relief workers will fall somewhere within the difference between the absolute FTE and the adjusted FTE values. At max, a relief worker can cover up to 2.5 employees within a given week based upon an 8-hour day. Wrapping this up, let's touch upon a few key points that you need to remember. Determining FTEs is an important skill for managers for correct calculations are required for optimal business functioning. An FTE is a unit of time, typically related to 40 hours within one work week for the business. Absolute FTEs relate to the bare minimum needed to run the business, the productive hours that need to be worked. Adjusted FTEs consider time that needs to be accounted for, such as the time off due to illness, vacation, or for some other reason when an employee will not be present at their workplace to perform their assigned tasks. Relief workers are typically temps, as needed, or part-time employees, and they are hired to fill in when needed. With this information in hand, the videos from here will have you tackling FTE problems. 
If you encounter any difficulty with any of the concepts presented, please submit your question into our Ask the RD feature and an RD will respond and directly address your concern. RDstudy.com video tutorials are produced and owned by Nutrition News Network LLC. Any copying, reuse, or redistribution in full or in part for any purpose without the written consent of Nutrition News Network LLC is prohibited. All rights reserved.